Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Bee Cave, Texas. Found another geocache. It's called U2. I'm not gonna tell you where it's at. Do I ever? I sometimes I do. Get some birds around here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful September day for riding. Alright guys, I'll see y'all down the road. I'm here in uh, Dripping Springs, Texas. I was looking for a geocache called Labyrinth here next to this church. Couldn't find it anywhere. Nope. Said it wasn't in the gazebo. That was the only ant. Looked all around there. Looked right here where the GPS coordinates shows me where it's at, but don't find it. All right, I'm continuing down the road. Might find a spot to get something to drink. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Wimberley, Texas, doing a geocache find. <laughs> uh, I'm here at the Blue Hole, and used to come here and camp out and brought the kids and uh, brought the kids here a couple of times uh, the blue hole was awesome uh, it looks like it's been uh, modernized here not the same <laughs> I don't even know if you can camp out here anymore so I'm in the recreation area to find this I'm going to go check out the rest of the blue hole and I'll show you what I find Well, the parking over here looks the same. Let's take a look and see what else is over here. Well, they got a sign over here. This uh, didn't used to be here. How you doing? Doing good. How you doing, sir? Doing good. Any I, questions about anything? anything I know? Yeah, I used came came here. I don't know a long time ago. Okay. When my kids were. Uh, how many? About how many years ago was it? Does it look oh, a little bit different than what you remember? Oh, it doesn't look same at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, about about ten years ago is when the city the cities bought it from the private owner. So so you can't do camping here anymore. No, sir. I, and even for a while, once the city bought it, they did camping for about five years, but they just it, yeah they canceled. Well, it. that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now in town, there's about nowhere you can camp, at least with a tent. You can go to like some lodges and stuff, but it's Wimberley's just getting a little too big now. So <laughs> that's the same way with New Braunfels. New Braunfels has just gotten a little bit too big, and it, yeah, everyone found out. About about it and now it's just not the same as it was i mean it's very it's super pretty down there and town's really pretty but it's just not the same as what some people so are. am i welcome to go of course yes sir yeah so it's the off season right now we just don't allow swimming but if you wanted to walk down there and check i don't want to swim yeah feel free walk down there probably too cold out. water was cold in the yeah, summer no, 
It's a little too cold for me anyways. I don't swim too much during the season. But uh, <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to walk down and check things out, feel free. You don't need to pay or anything. And, yeah, feel free to check things out. I appreciate it. Thank so, you. Of course. Well, it's a shame when they ruin a good thing. <laughs> well, at least I get to go down here and check it out. Well, it's still beautiful down here. Yeah, you used to could drive down here and they had camping areas down here. Wow. At least it does bring back some memories. Wow, this used to be exactly what I remember. I don't know if you can see it. They got a, a chain and it used to be a rope off that tree right there. And you'd swing out and drop in the water. And the water is spring fed here and it's crystal, crystal clear. You can't see the, because of the reflection there, but you can see all the way to the bottom. Absolutely beautiful. All this out here was camping. You pull down here and you camp way down there. Way cool. Now it's just picnicking and swimming. Well, that's kind of uh, depressing. It's a shame when things have to change. <laughs> I never remembered this being this nice too. <laughs> This uh, platform here wasn't here. And there's the uh, chain you'd grab and you would uh, swing out. And they had a pole here you could grab the rope and certainly uh, do that. Oh, there's the, the circle chain too. I remember that. Wow. I remember. Uh, my uh, ex-wife, uh, Joanne, we uh, came down here one time with uh, a pop-up camper. So we definitely came down here and set up the pop-up camper and had fun with the kids out here. And she had three kids and I had two. <laughs> Almost a Brady Bunch. Uh, and before that, I brought the kids down here twice, if I remember right. It was uh, lots and lots of fun. Uh, Crystal, my daughter, if you uh, remember coming down here, say something about it. All right, I'm gonna go get that drink that I didn't get earlier. <laughs> uh, Wimberley's just got so crowded. I used to uh, wanna retire out here at Wimberley, but not so much some more. It's just crazy out here. It's so overcrowded. Uh, still want to retire in the hill country somewhere. That would be nice. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, I'm here at the uh, Wimberley Cafe in Wimberley, Texas, in the Wimberley Square. I'm having that drink finally, Diet Dr. Pepper. And I might have their fried mac and cheese. That looks pretty good. It's a little appetizer. Uh, I could stand with a little appetizer. Been a long time since breakfast. Well, here they are. They look like triangles. <laughs> this is fried mac and cheese with cilantro, jalapeno, ranch dip. Let's see how these things taste. They're kind of hot right now. All right, we're going to see how these things taste without the sauce. Tastes like mac and cheese. Definitely better with the sauce. This uh, cilantro jalapeno ranch dip thing is good. We go with fries. <laughs> All right.
Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Beehive, Texas. Or Bee Cave. <laughs> Let's get this right. Howdy y'all, I'm... Nah. I wasn't recording then. God damn it.